So Arthur, give us a goss. How in your sojourn to the Sugar Technologies Conference in Puerto Rico? Oh, by G, by Jingo, by Crikey, Bill, it was a bit of a do. I'll give you the hot tip. Fair dinkum. Fair as dinkum gets, Bill. Actually met a little Sheila. A little Sheila? A little Sheila, Bill. She a good sort? Oh, shit, no. Ugly as a hat full of busted assholes. Face like a bucket of smashed crabs, eh? Mate, as soon as I looked at her, I got a soft on. Sir Geruda? Oh, mate, barely came out for air. I was flat out like a lizard drinking. Because you would fucking black snakes fess a dust if someone held its head. Oh, my earth, but you gotta hold its head. You gotta hold its head. Good on you, Artie. What's her name? Went by Mrs. Raquel Dexter. Anyway, after I got me end away, I started chatting to her about her little cane grub problem. Those bloody cane grubs, Artie, they're buggering up our sugar industry. Oh, my earth they are, Bill, but Raquel may have an idea. Why would she have an idea? Raquel is an entomologist, Bill. Stroot, they'll let Sheila's be entomologist now. Seppos, Bill, I got a couple of ruse loose in the top paddock. Anyway, young Raquel says there's a lot to be said for the cane toads. Ability to control the cane grub population. The cane toad? Bufo marinus, the species is called. Young Raquel says we let a couple of those loose in the cane fields. Our worries are over. Easy as that, eh? Easy as that, Bill. The toad will have no natural predators in Australia. The females are capable of producing 40,000 eggs per summer, and there'll be a dead set smorgasbord of food for the little tackers to munch on. Plan can't fail. Sounds like we need to grab some cane toads. Oh, by G, by Jingo, by Crikey Bill, this is going to turn out beautiful. can feel it in my waters. <sighs> 102 cane toads were introduced into Gordon Vale, North Queensland, Australia in 1935 in an effort to control the cane grubs and beetles, which were preying on valuable sugarcane crops. Today, cane toad numbers in Australia have topped 200 million, and they are without peer in their damage to the native ecosystem due to their poisonous venom, proficiency at spreading disease, and tendency to eat anything smaller than themselves, except, of course, for the cane grub and beetle. In the annals of biological control measures, it is difficult to find a more eloquent and perfect disaster. If you don't subscribe, we will call this chameleon Pudgy. And he's quite sensitive. Chameleons, of course, can't understand spoken language. Nonetheless, they are sensitive, so it'd be best to subscribe. Beep.